Hi everyone! In this video I will show you 5 useful tips for working with curves in geometry nodes. We'll play with curve primitives, figure out why filletting sometimes behaves strangely, look at how to control curve resolution, create a nice triangulated star, and build a clean outline around the curve. Let's start with something very simple but often overlooked. Curve primitives. Personally, I mostly use just line and circle, sometimes spiral and star, but in reality there are many more primitives. I'll just add one node of each type, and I won't change any settings yet. If you look closely at the parameters, many primitives have extra options, drop-down menus, checkboxes, different shape modes. If you spend a bit of time playing with those, you can get several different shapes from a single primitive. Here I've simply scattered all the primitives on a grid. I only centered them and shuffled them around. Some of them can already work in 3D space, not just in a flat plane, and that saves a lot of time when you re-preparing base shapes. The second tip is about rounding corners. I add a fillet curve node. By default the node itself is set to Bezier, and it feels natural that this mode should give you smooth rounding, while poly would behave more like a chamfer. But in geometry nodes the logic is a bit different. For fillet to work as expected, it's important how the curve itself is stored. Right now the curve itself is poly, so fillet also behaves correctly in poly mode. If we want a Bezier style fillet, we need to convert the curve to this spline type as well. So first I add a set spline type node and switch the curve to Bezier. Now, when the spline type is Bezier, the fillet starts working properly. In one mode we get smooth arcs, in another, a more chopped chamfer the takeaway is simple, if fillet behaves unpredictably, the first thing to check is the spline type. Try switching the curve to Bezier. The third tip is how resample curve and set spline resolution work together. For this example I'll use a circle. Resample has several modes, evaluated count, length. In count and length, everything is pretty straightforward. With the third mode, questions often appear. Sometimes it looks like nothing happens when you switch to it. The trick is that in this mode, Resample does not work with poly curves. To see what's going on, we add a set spline type node and switch the curve to Bezier. Then add set handle type. And finally, a set spline resolution node. By default, it is set to 12. That means each Bezier segment is subdivided into 12 parts. If we have, say, 4 segments around the circle, the total point count will be 4 to 8. 32 segments. This is very handy when you want to control the overall density of the curve with a single value, without tying it to a specific length. The fourth tip is how to get a clean triangulation of a star. We take a star primitive and convert it to a mesh with curve to mesh and by default Blender triangulates it in a not very elegant way. But we can make it as neat as a mesh circle in triangle mode, where all triangles meet in the center. To do this, we add a point in the center. A regular point won't interact with curve to mesh, so we convert it to a curve with point to curve. Then we plug the central point, curve together with the star into curve to mesh, and we get a nice radial triangulation. If there are multiple points in the center, say 10, then by default they re all turned into one single curve, and the mesh starts to look strange. To make each point its own curve, we can use the index node and build a set of separate point splines. After that, we can use distribute points on faces. and subdivide curve, or resample curve, to get an even triangulation. The fifth tip is about creating an outline around a curve with an even mesh density. We have an original curve, and first we generate a ribbon around it with a width of, say, 20 centimeters.
Then, with mesh to curve, we convert the result back to a curve. Using edge neighbors, we isolate only the boundary edges. That gives us the outline. We round the corners using the method we already know. To avoid self-intersections, we will make the rounding radius slightly less than half the width of the ribbon. Let's use the curve to mesh node again to create a mesh outline. The problem is that in some areas the mesh becomes very dense and in others it has almost no subdivisions. We need separate control over the sharp corners. We detect sharp corners using curve handle positions. and multiply the fillet radius by this result. Now we'll use the set handle type node before and after the fillet curve node to make the rest of the curve more rounded as well. Let's resample the curve to get a uniform grid. Now we can deal with the uniformity of the topology. Here is the result we get. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments which tip you found the most useful and if you would like a separate more detailed breakdown for example of the outline setup or of how resample works. Subscribe to the channel. There will be more lessons on geometry nodes and blender materials.